The next uh, speaker is uh, Nasima Benacci, who is working in my department, and she's going to present uh, our results of such cyclo that will also publish in Journal of Glaucoma. Uh, thanks to uh, Cantel Medical for this invitation. And uh, after uh, the good, pre the great presentation about Cybcyclo, uh, I'm going to talk about my uh, my uh, experience using Cybcyclo in my current practice. First of all, the mode action of uh, of subliminal laser is based on uh, thermical action and pilocarpine uh, like effect with uh, selective the targeting tissue so we have uh, we have uh, less so we have less tissue damage and we have less inflammation however we can uh, we can control the laser effect by varying the the, the parameters of laser, the power, the treatment uh, duration, and the duty cycle. The duty cycle represents the proportion of time during which the laser is active in the, in the cycle. We have uh, four, uh, four years experience with Cybcyclo. And the study I want to present is about uh, 40 uh, eyes treated by Cybcyclo with two different uh, protocols and two different uh, energy levels, as the, all the patients had at least one year follow-up. Here are demographics. Population included Caucasian, African, and Asian people, and the all type of glaucoma was included in, uh, were included in uh, in the, the study and were treated by Cybcyclo laser. Our procedure uh, was after placement of eyelid speculum. We use sub, uh, subtenon anesthesia associated with intravenous analgesia. And this protocol uh, make, uh, can have a better, we can have a better pain management or post-surgery. Uh, so about the, the laser setting, the power and the, the duration of treatments were fixed. Two watts of uh, infrared, uh, infrared, uh, infrared radiation over 160 seconds. And uh, for duty cycle, we selected a duty cycle of 25% per for the first group and a duty cycle of 31.3% per for the second group. So this, uh, this, uh, this is our technique. So we, um, we use um, a probe and it's applied at uh, 3 millimeters posterior from the limbus and uh, maintain the perpendicularity uh, for, uh, perpendicular to the sclera. It's moved uh, on a sliding arc over 360 degrees, 80 seconds in the superior area and 80 seconds in the inferior area. We're avoiding the meridian of 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And here uh, you can see here the, the IOP reduction. You can see that the IOP reduction was statistically significant in the bot group and it statistically uh, decreased in the first week and first month, then followed by stabilization. However, the surgical success rate after the first procedure was better in the, the group treated by 31.3 percent duty cycle. It's over, uh, it's, uh, over 40 percent percentage of reduction and uh, it uh, in this in the first group treated by 25 it's over 30 percent reduction of iop also the anti-glaucoma medication was reduced from 3.4 preoperatively to 2.9 uh, after surgery many persons have stopped the diamox after surgery uh, there are there were 
few uh, complications. Uh, the most common was the minimal anterior chamber reaction, and it's higher in the it's uh, it's uh, uh, rapidly regressive, and it's higher in the group treated by 31.3 duty cycle. However, or in the however in the group treated by the 25, the, the the rates of uh, the, the rates and the percentage of rates of retreatment were higher, and we use the same parameter for retreatment. The the results was uh, good was good with the higher efficacy without more complication. So in summary, and based on our our uh, our experience. Then uh, we can use uh, cypsaclo in different stage of glaucoma and with different type of uh, of glaucoma liver, of IOP liver. It is more effective when we use a duty cycle of 31.3, and uh, with fewer complication, with the reduced duty cycle of 25 percent, we have uh, the treatment was moderately effective, lasted for a short time, and need more than one laser session. So I tend to use it in uh, the cases of good vision and the ear, ear glaucoma, and uh, I can use it. Uh, I use it uh, in the in the inflammatory disease in patients with inflammatory disease. Otherwise, for uh, for clear eye and very high uh, IUP, I. Uh, I, uh, which need more more energy uh, to treat, I extended the duration to uh, 180 seconds to increase the, the power and the, and the, the, the power and intensity of treatment. So there were uh, many many study, many published study about the setting, the laser setting, and uh, so it. And so it's easier to use the energy delivered to compare the, the, the results of this study. And it emerges from this study that to, to have, to obtain the best balance between the efficacy and safety, to use a, a range, a MIDA range of, of energy, uh, ranging mm -hmm. from 100 to 150 uh, joules. Uh, for, uh, when we use a low energy, uh, less than uh, 80 joules, we obtain a moderate reduction of IUP in a short term. So we need uh, more than one session lesion for, treat, for treatment. Other teams, uh, for other teams, use the uh, high energy above 200 joules. The percentage of IOP reduction was greater, uh, about 40 or 60 percent from baseline, but the severe complication occurred. So it's important to say that the goal of treatment is not only the reduction of uh, of IOP, but uh, also and mostly the safety of treatment. In conclusion. The cypsaiclo uh, seems to be a safe and uh, and uh, effective way to control IOP, and uh, it presents fewer fewer side effects compared to other technique and uh, to standard uh, cyclo destruction so cyclophotocopulation. We have now more uh, more knowledge of parameters of parameters that uh, give a good uh, balance between uh, safety and efficacy to treat each patient. So, so for that, uh, that's why we can consider cypsaclo earlier in the treatment of glaucoma. Thank you very much for attention. Thank you very much for um, uh, this beautiful presentation.